Okay, so we are chatting um, with um, Allison and Samantha, and we are, we is an I, <laughs> and we're talking about um, things that newer coaches can struggle with, and we're kind of trying to um, set some goals. Okay, so Allison stated that inviting is one of the things that she struggles with the most of the three vote behaviors, and Samantha said um, inviting. Okay, so, and with inviting also comes posting. So I'm gonna share my screen and give you a little idea of some things for posting. Um, because do either of you have a posting schedule? Nope. <laughs> okay, this will help you so much, I promise. Because when you don't, you're just like, mm, okay, I don't know, maybe I'll throw this up. So once you go to our Team Run Pink group, you just click on photos and then click on albums. And then I have a ton of albums in here. If you may not have known these are in here, they're super helpful. So um, inviting people to coach conversations and sample conversations about products and Shakeology. So this is a ton of screenshots that you can just go through and scroll. Um, and then helpful training tips. So helpful training tips. There's a ton of information here. You can even just download these and create a, a photo album, um, like new coach training tips. And, but this is my, one of my favorite things. So this is a mock posting schedule. And you can take this and make it your own. Um, and I'm going to tag you both here so you can easily find it. Um, but you can, you can totally make it your own. You don't have to. Um... Oh, it looks like Samantha's tag started. <laughs> Did it already? What? Yeah, she was tagged. Molly had tagged her. Oh. <laughs> okay, there it is again. Um, <laughs> so you have not done this, Samantha, since September 15th. So <laughs> this is now your homework. <laughs> um, okay, so every day, three times a day, um, just make a post. So this one says family, Sunday, fun day, personal. And it's really important to actually program in personal posts. And for me, that would be like something about the dog or, you know, uh, my family or something like that. Um, or, you know, something about me liking Chipotle or, you know, something silly like that. So that would be my, um, personal is making sure that I'm talking about my personal life. I have a ton of people that will like that, you know, I posted a freaking picture of Mac and it got like 210 likes. People tell me all the time, like, Oh my gosh, I feel like I know him. I love him so much because I'm always posting about him and always talking about him. Like I don't, um, Samantha, you have, do you have kids? No. Okay. So yeah, we, none of us have kids then, right? Allison, you don't. Right. Nope. Yeah. Just a fur baby. Yes. And um, Samantha, you have one too? Okay. Yeah. So like for people that don't have kids, like it's like, okay, my personal life. So I work and you know, so that's why I, for me, I don't, I, and my nieces are so far away that I'm not always able to be like talking about that and things like that. So, um, you know, you're going to really target other people that are, you know, animal lovers. Um, and that's kind of how things came about just talking about, I used to talk about being obsessed with peanut butter and guacamole. And that's kind of how it happened that like people are always tagging me in Chipotle stuff. I wasn't just like, Oh, my target market is people that love Chipotle. Like it just kind of happened. So that's from posting personal things. That's like, Oh my gosh, I cannot stop sticking my spoon in this jar of peanut butter. Help me please. And just making a silly post about that and people picking up on it. So Schedule in some personal stuff so that people can really feel like they get to know you. When you see that other people are tagging you with things, you know you're doing a good job as, as putting yourself out there so that people can relate and, you know, um, really kind of get to know you. So um, work out pictures or like a sweaty selfie or something like that. Um, I, if you follow um, Melanie Metro, she was the top coach from 2014 and she's most likely going to be top coach for 2015 again. She's amazing. And every single day she has an accountability post up and it's her, like her and her workout gear, like got it done today. And like, she'll say something else little about it. But, and if you follow Danielle Mullen, she's on our team. She's awesome. She's to totally started um, kind of replicating that. Melanie Metro does that and she every day it's like boom and you just know to expect that and I mean it doesn't even have to be you flexing but it can be like here's my new workout shirt or you know something like that but just kind of like never miss a Monday like do it when you don't feel like it and when you are constantly putting that out there one it's going to make you go get your workout in you're not going to be posting that if you didn't get your workout in you're not going to be like oh did it today you know <laughs> so it's going to keep you accountable and then it's also going to like let people know like they know every time they come to your account they're going to see that 
And that's something that's like motivation for them. So, um, and I think once a week, make a, at least once a week, make a coach post. This one has two. It has Sunday night, Wednesday during the day, and then a challenge group, um, or, you know, has that twice a day. And then your transformation Tuesday, you can use somebody from your team, personal success. Um, you can do non-scale victories, things like that. So this is a really great, um, thing to kind of, and you can take it and make your own wellness Wednesday or Dr. Oz. Dr. Oz would be like something you would see on Dr. Oz. Like, did you know that cayenne pepper has been shown to such and such, such, um, or something that you've, you've seen recently. So that, and another thing that you can do is each body, it's not letting me do this. Um, beach body actually has its own blog and it's really got a lot of recipes um, let's see beach .com. and so I will just take something and post it to um, my blog all the time or not my blog I can't talk um, my like page let me think of how I get to it <laughs> um, can I just find blogs Eat smart. Okay, so um, you can do res recipes, nutrition tips, like there's so much stuff in here. So say I just went to recipes, um, and Autumn Calabrese has a blog too, so she's great. A lot of times I'll take stuff from her. Um, but say I was just like, okay, I wanna share something for dinner. You could go in here, 10 healthy ways to use Thanksgiving leftovers. Boom, that's a great idea. Um, you know, and you could even just kind of take one of these recipes and make it your own. Oh, I'm going to take what, what to do with uh, leftover turkey. And you could, you know, click here, get the recipe, things like that. Super simple. You don't have, you can like literally. So, and what I do is I don't like, and haven't made the things. I just take it and I'll like save the image and I'll make a new post. But what I've, oh, it's not going to load. Um, what I really like is to do is write out the ingredients and, um, the recipe itself because then it's all in one post. So that is adding value. They may not click on it, but when you have like ingredients, recipe, that people are like, oh, and then you can say like, sh share this so that it saves to your timeline if you want to make it later. So you could just kind of save that image, copy all of this, and then like copy it, make a new paste or make a new post, use this image. And then at the bottom I say, found this gem at, and I would copy and paste that URL. So that was super simple. It would literally take you like five minutes to make a really valuable post and you don't, and it looks really great if you just see that and people don't, you don't need to be Chef Ramsey to do it. So, um, I also like, um, Autumn Calabrese's blog and graciouspantry.com is a good one too. So yeah, that's something super simple, maybe twice a week, or maybe it's like a tasty Tuesday or something like that, that you're going to be always sharing something. And then you can be like, you know, share this to your page so that you can easily find it later. So then in them sharing that, you're going to get other people that are going to come, you know, friend you or see what you're about, or at least see your post. Um, and that's another reason why your post should be public. So that if your posts aren't public, when people share it, only people that are friends with you will see that. So, but yeah, go ahead and go through, um, these, these are all helpful, um, training things for you. And, um, another thing for you to look at is the sexy shake pics. And this is just like really good looking shakeology pictures and you can download these. And, um, I would love for you this week to make a, um, post about what shakeology has done for you so far. Um, you know, and you can use one of these and, um, Samantha, I would love for you to type it out. And Allison, I want you to tell me some things that you've noticed since you've been drinking Shakeology. Well, I've been really bad recently and not drinking my Shakeology. <laughs> I know I, but I posted today. Um, I actually used one of the sexy shake picks. This, oh, you this did. Yay. And I actually, um, because I think for me, it's just, I don't, yeah. I don't feel like I have had all like the ben benefits everybody else has had. Like I didn't have like, like stomach issues or anything like you or right. stuff like that. So for me, it's kind of been hard to pick what to write about. So today I just, I wrote about it, like getting me through the day and like the mm -hmm. energy. So I think that's the biggest thing. It's given me energy and it's, 
Like, I feel like I crave chocolate more now than I did before I drank Shakeology, <laughs> which is really fun. <laughs> but it's okay because I, I, I crave the chocolate Shakeology. It's mm-hmm. not like I go for the bad stuff. So good. Okay. Yeah. And that's awesome. And just, I would try to do that like, you know, once a week and it can be just like little tidbits here and there. Like, um, you know, you can even share, I just talked to a new coach Lynn today and she's down three pounds. She just started Shakeology Thursday, hasn't even started the 21 day fix and she's down three pounds. And she's like, what the heck? Why did I wait so long to get this? Because I literally, it tastes so good. Like, how is this possible? So, you know, you can even say like, you know, one of my girls is down three pounds after, I can't do math, four days, you know, the only thing she did was replacing Shakeology. And we start up our another boot camp. you know, just imagine when she adds in the work, the workouts and the meal plan from our boot camp that starts December 7th or whenever your next group starts, um, you know, just comment below if you want some more information. So that's the beauty of listening to other coaches, testimonials and things like that. And when you just like make a brief, like, like I told her, I was like, you don't even have to make a po- a picture. Just make a post like down three pounds in four days. And the only thing I changed was I started drinking a, you know, a meal replacement shake that tastes like freaking ice cream. Like who wants to join me? I said, just post something like that. Cause people are going to be like, what are you doing? You know, tell me more. Um, so yeah, let me find where my chat went. Okay. Um, so Samantha, anything for you that you've noticed with Shakeology. Um, okay. And <laughs> Alice, now what, um, so if, once you get a posting schedule started, um, I want you to think about what else you would like to um, work on. Let me read this. So the two of you, I want to tell you that Shakeology is like birth control and you're not going to get results if you don't drink it every day. It just doesn't work. So, and that's what you need to tell your clients and that's what you need to start doing right now. Cause I will not lie to you. I went through a time where, and it, it even helps my stomach a ton. I went through a time where I was like not really drinking it regularly for like over a month. Um, probably about a year ago. And I was like, I have so much Shakeology. Da, da, da. And, um, Brooke Sperling, who is one of Kelly's coaches. And, um, she was just like, what are you doing? Like, how do you ever expect somebody to order and drink if you can't even do it? And you have, you know, this awesome story to tell for it. How, how would you ever think that somebody's going to, you know, order it and want to do it, you know, more than once a month if you can't even do it. And that kind of like really hit home. I was like, you're right. I, I need to, there's no good reason. I just, I just didn't do it for a while and I got lazy. Mm-hmm. So if you have extra Shakeology, you're going to either, um, you know, if you have packets, you can always offer, um, you know, to give people some samples like, Hey, anybody want to, you know, I'm sending, I'm headed to the post office Friday. Um, let me know who wants to try some samples, comment below. I'm sending them out and just charge people like to pay you $5 on PayPal and, sh- and like, cause you can even take, um, a sample and put it in a Hallmark card and like put it in the mail. So, you know, just charge somebody like $5 a sample and you can send it out their way. If you, and if you don't have packets, um, it's a little ghetto to sound like a Ziploc bag. So I would just start drinking two shakes a day and you're going to save on your grocery bill and you're, you know, it's just going to help you with the 21 day fix, not thinking of a meal. So, um, make it non-negotiable that Shakeology happens every day because if you can't do it yourself, you are not going to find people, um, that are willing to do it too. And those are your coaches. You cannot tell people like, hey, you need to drink it every day if you're not. Um, So with me traveling, I did go like two days without it. And tonight I just sat down and I don't have a blender. I don't have anything. I just mixed it with almond milk and it wasn't the best. But I knew that like my body was craving it. Like my body tells me when I'm needing it. Um, So I I went to the store today to get almond milk and I was like, screw this. I'm not like... If you guys, because his family eats out like every meal, I'm not doing this. Like if I need to stay home and just eat my Shakeology one meal tomorrow, I'm doing that. Um, and you know, if, for me, that's something that's non-negotiable. I'm not going to not do that because I'm traveling or whatever. And actually when I'm traveling, I always bring a little mini blender and my Shakeology and it's helpful because it saves money. <laughs> you know, when we go to events, we always bring our blender and our Shakeology and we'll pack some fruit and stuff because it saves money too. Um, so just make it part of your everyday routine. Um, 
and, um, you know, just drink it on your way to work. Or I, I even like, I used to turn my nose up at it, but I actually do like it now shaken with almond milk. Sometimes if I'm in a rush, it's almost like Ovaltine. I think it tastes really good. So just make it non-negotiable that even if you have to do it with a shaker cup and you're going out the door that you're going to get your daily dose, dose of, um, you know, vitamins, cause you're going to feel better when you're doing it every day on a regular basis too. Um, and what I would do too, is once you start drinking it every day, then you can try to see too, like what changes am I noticing? Um, and then you'll probably have some more to talk about as well. Um, okay. So we talked about posting and we talked to, oh, we didn't really talk too much about inviting. Um, so for inviting, uh, making a post at least once or once a week for coaching and at least once a week for a challenge group is going to help you a ton. So I'm going to go, you can still see my screen, right? Yep. Okay. So you can actually see things on Instagram from your computer. You can't um, work it, but if you just put Instagram.com and then put your um, username, you can kind of um, go from there. So um, I'm always posting. So here was the last one. Um, and this was, her name was Andrea. I actually didn't know her. I saw, a I saw a coach kind of say, Oh my gosh, check out Andrea. And then, um, she said, you know, I started my beach body journey and all of this was her. And then it said, you know, feel free to share my journey. So I did. Um, and so you can even like take this part and make it your own as well. Um, but her results are awesome. And this basically is take, talking about like, I started December 15, 2014. Like I didn't wait till January 1st um, kind of thing. So this was a really cool post. Um, and I, oh, sorry. My inviting part at the end was, um, this chick didn't wait until January 1st to do something about her health and neither should you. I have a group of boot campers starting December 7th that gives you enough time to finish around by New Year's Eve. I'd love for you to, I would love to be here for you every step of the way. Um, and so on Facebook, it said comment below I'm in or message me for more details. Um, and on Instagram, I would normally put add me to Facebook at www.facebook.com slash April pink, April dot pink dot five and message me. I um, did not do a call to action there, but um, I did get some girls that were interested. And so, you know, anybody that commented, um, I just kind of went back to them and commented and liked them and kind of tried to get them to add me to Facebook by doing the 531 method. Have you guys heard me say what the 531 method is? Like, comment, and what's the, what's one? Um, you what's usually get one follower back from that. So five likes, three comments, and you usually get one follower back. But one of my three comments, all my three comments are open-ended questions. So I'm trying to get them to say something back. Like say it was a race photo. It's like, oh my gosh, your time is so great. How did you feel? Or, you know, something like that. And then my third comment to them is, oh my gosh, girl, I just stalked the crap out of your page. Are you on Facebook? Because I just adore your posts. I think you're awesome. I feel like we'd have so much in common. And then that's there. Um, and so, you know, I have, you can have your Facebook link in your Instagram so that when you say that to people, it's really easy for them to find you. Um, so I have had a lot of, so for me looking at this, I haven't done a ton of recipes. I haven't really done a ton of anything other than selfies in the last <laughs> couple weeks. So this is, this I like doing this too, because I'm like, okay, would I follow me if I didn't know me? It's kind of like, uh, yeah, that's not a recipe. That's your pizza. Um, yeah, maybe that's funny. Cool, your dog's cute. But what value am I adding? So this tells me that tomorrow I need to share some recipes um, maybe a workout video or something like that. Um, and this was another challenge group post I made. Um, and you, I even shared this in the group. So, cause I thought this was a really good, so you guys can literally like copy this and use it your own. So do you ever see someone whose transformation think of yourself that lucky? I wish I could do that. Um, and so this was a really great, this is Irene and she's one of our coaches too. So she just in Colorado. Uh-huh. She does. She is, I don't know what part, is she in Denver? I think she is because she works for the Rockies. I, mm -hmm. I connected with her on Facebook. Yeah. Too, but we, I mean, we've never met up, but I just know she lives in Denver. <laughs> yeah. Irene is awesome. I, and the cool funny thing is, is that she was a coach that was a, um, she was a, just doing it for the discount under one of my coaches that then she, the coach quit. And I thought she was just a discount coach and I never really reached out to her. And then one day she was like, Hey, I, um, 
I have a question about this. And I was like, oh my gosh, who is this chick? <laughs> like, so then I got on the phone with her. She made this post um, and she, well, this she put this picture together and then made a post and sold like three challenge packs the next day. So that is why um, having your own story and being your own motivation, even if it's not a huge weight loss, like I don't have a huge amount of weight to lose but I am going to be focused on like hammer and chisel. I want to see muscle definition. I want to be like, here's my before, here's my after. It's not going to be as amazing as somebody like, you know, my sister Melissa's. It's like, bam, 95 pounds because I don't have that to lose. But I just want to show that I'm being consistent. And that's all you can do. You don't need to be like, man, I wish I was overweight so I'd have a great before and after. You just need to be that motivating person that everybody knows you're showing up every day. Um, kind of thing. So this, I, I said, you know, add me to Facebook and message me, um, for things like that. So just like follow me, like follow other coaches, see how we do things and just make them your own. So this was a coach post. This was a bunch of coaches we got, um, for t together in Washington PA when I was home. And then I, you know, kind of talked about it. And then I talked about my story a little bit. And then I said, if money was an issue, what would you do for a living? I honestly would still do what I do. Um, you know, and then I said to see if this is for you or not, email me. Um, and anytime you tell any type of success, you have to use this new disclaimer. Um, and it's in a file section. But basically, Beachbody could get in a ton of trouble if people are just like, yeah, if you sign up for a coach, you'll quit your job, you'll pay for your wedding, things like that. So that's why um, we have to put that. But so I'm always, you know, I, and feel free to use my story, use other coaches' stories. It doesn't have to, you know, or t if you were able to, you know, pay an electric bill or something, fill up your gas tank. It doesn't have to be, kudos to you for your wine. Um, <laughs> I'm not it's been a long day. <laughs> That's how I was last time. I was last night, I was like, we were at the theater and I was like, I saw somebody had a drink and I was like, Matt, we're going, oh, we're finding beer. I need one. <laughs> um, but yeah, so just post once a week. And, and the best thing I can tell you is like, follow other coaches. Um, I made this into a coach post. It was just me and my sister, like hanging out and working. Um, so I do have like a, you know, a weight loss from before um, Beachbody, but I also talk about the internal transformation a lot too. So this was, you know, me just kind of telling my story and not even so much a a challenge group post. So, you know, feel free to talk about your story. You should be honestly you should be talking about a, a point of your story at least once a week. And that is the scary part, but that is where like all the magic happens. Cause when I started talking to people about my self confidence, when I started talking to people about eating disorders, that's when I really started attracting like-minded people. So yeah, so going through, I really know that I need to start posting more recipes, even if it's just like the ones that I'm stealing from Beachbody um, or things like that. So, you know, and it's good to kind of go through and do that because I've been kind of lazy with my um, Instagram. So, you know, I encourage you to do that too. Go through your Instagram, you know, go through your Facebook and be like, if I was somebody else, would I follow me? Honestly, um, unless I like German Shepherds, maybe not right now. You know, if I just scrolled through the little bit right there. So um, you just want to kind of take a look at yourself too and see, you know, am I posting something that's worth of value? So, and then in our Team Run Pink group, and then what time, are you guys doing okay on time? Mm -hmm. You have like 15 more minutes? Yeah, okay. Um, and our Team Run Pink group, where, if you guys haven't watched this, I made two new training videos and you can, there. so this Girl Boss Academy, the video one, replaced the Be Your Boss thing of Kelly's that we used to show new coaches. This is only, I think, 48 minutes and Kelly's is an hour. And then this is, replaces that recorded call that I used to share with people that's like 40 minutes and this is only 18 minutes. It's got a lot of information and it helps you not have to like tell people the same thing over and over. So um, you always send these to your new coaches too. Um, okay. So if you look in our pin post, all of our team docs are organized on our Google drive here. Have you seen the Google drive yet? Okay. Allison has, Samantha hasn't. So you're going to click here and it's, um, before and after some of them are in there. I don't know if there's as many as the other ones, challenge groups, there's templates, there's coaching guides, there's meal plans, new coach files and scripts. I'm going to show you the scripts. I want you guys to feel free to go through. There's anything you see that you like download and just save into a photo, um, you know, an album, a folder in your computer. So this is a script to talk to people about 21 day fix. Um, 
this is a script to talk about people about the coaching opportunity. There's normally only one of each. I don't know why there's two right now. Uh, I don't know why there's two folders, but, um, so we've got 21 day fix size, um, uh, Ultimate script, this one is a really good one too. New 21 day fix script, um, free group to 21 day fix. So this is kind of like me talking to somebody that was in the free group and then once I'm checking in on them, inviting them to you know join us for the 21 day fix. I like the new 21 day fix. It kind of, um, you know, I, I, the bolded questions, the bolded part is what you know you would use and everything else is what you would kind of fill in here and now. So I always say, are you currently following a fitness or nutrition plan? And if they say like, you know, um, or then I got talked to them about, you know, what would you say your biggest struggle is the fitness side or the nutrition side? And then I'm going to wait for their question and whatever they say, I'm going to use that feel felt found method. Like I totally, if they say nutrition, I totally understand how you feel. I felt the same way. I felt like I was kicking my butt in the gym and had no idea what to eat. And I was kind of ruining my hard work there. Or if somebody says fitness, like at one point or another in our lives, we struggled with one or the other. So just use the fill felt found and be like, oh my gosh, girl, I totally understand that. I was stuck in a rut for a long time and I just didn't have the motivation. Um, so when you find out what their struggle is, that's when you can be able to talk about something that's going to benefit them. So say somebody struggles with just doing it, like they struggle with the motivation. That is going to be when you're going to talk up your challenge group and how awesome your challenge group is, how awesome your other coaches and supporting, you know, clients are and how awesome it is to see other people posting their foods. And you know that like, okay, this girl did it and she's got two kids. That means I got to go and do it. So play to what they're um, struggling with. If they're talking about nutrition, talk about how much you love Shakeology and talk about how much um, the meal plan has helped you. So that's kind of what I'm looking for is to say where, what's their selling point going to be? Cause if they talk to me about, um, you know, nutrition being their hardest part and I'm really like, yeah, the workouts, the workouts, the workouts. And I'm not talking to them about how the meal plan helped me, how Shakeology helped me, how it's like idiot proof. That's not going to be as big as a, pri a priority to them. So I also love, um, this part, what would it mean to you if you could see more changes in your body and feel stronger while learning what to do at the gym and home? How might your life be different? Um, and these are things that she, t she already talked about pre previously. Or if somebody's like, you know, when I ask them what their goal is, they're like, I mean, I'd, I'd love to overall lose, you know, be, become a size six, but you know, so I would say, what would it mean to you if you could zip up a, a pair of size six jeans and feel confident and sexy? And that's when people are like, Oh my gosh, everything. And when you get that emotional connection, people are so much more likely to hear what you have to say because they're in their like in picturing in their head. They're like, I need that. Like I want that. So that's why the scripts are really awesome because you can have that emotional connection with them. Um, so yeah, definitely check out um, the script. There's scripts here. There's tips for just about everything. It took me a while to put everything in there because if you go to the files here, there's so many files it's just overwhelming. So I tried to put them all there um, and uh, organize them. The other thing is 45 second presentation is a PDF. That's a book. It's a really good book and it's there. So you could just kind of read it um, from your computer or print it um, as personal development. And then there's also compliance and complaints income claims. If you ever make a post that, you know, is about coaching that says something about money, like, you know, you can't say like, you know, I paid for my job or I quit my job or I paid for my wedding or I quit my job. The income claim is there. The one that I was talking to you about. Um, here's personal development suggestions. And then I have, I don't know where it is. I have to find it <laughs> somewhere in here. I have a audio book for you're a badass. Have either of you read that? Okay. But I have credits on Audible right now that I need to. Um, have you ever read Go For No? No. Go For No is amazing. I love that. Um, I just, I just uh, downloaded um, GoPro. Ooh, that's good too. I love GoPro. GoPro, Go For No, um, Compound Effect. Mm -hmm. I have Compound Effect and GoPro right now. Okay. Yeah. Those are, those are awesome. Awesome. So, um, I'm going to just post this in the, in the, oh wait, I'll make a file. So I don't have to do this again. Leave this page. And then what I do is I post this in my challenge groups and I 
am encouraging my challengers to listen to this as well. Um, so this is actually the audio version of that. So that's a really awesome book for confidence, and a lot of people in your challenge groups need that too. So you're, you're also kind of tr grooming them to get personal development and kind of grooming them to be coaches and also helping with their personal development. So I always, always post that into my challenge groups as well. Um, but yeah, just, just kind of the more people you talk to, it's a numbers game. And if in go for no, there's one part that really kind of struck a chord with me. So he said the part, they, there's a part of the story. He, he calls somebody up for getting the most no's. He got rejected the most in his business and he got called up at their like, you know, national convention or whatever. And then, so, um, he sends and then he comes up for an award and then he goes and sits down and then they call up the person that has had the most sales in the year and that person comes back up. And that to me, was like, it's a numbers game. The more people you put this business opportunity in front of, the more people you talk to about challenge groups, the more people are going to sign up. And when you're talking to people about challenge groups, and they're like, yeah, let's do this. At the end, I just say, um, and there's scripts in there too about coaching about how to do this um, is okay, great. Now I just need to know how you want to um, get signed up. You can either get signed up um, just as is, or you can save 25% on your shakes next month. And so you're going to be saving 15 bucks. Um, and you also have the opportunity of getting other people on board with you and getting your shakes paid for. So um, just let me know which route you want to go. And I can give you some more information on the coaching. You don't have no quota or anything, but I just want to see you save the most money. So you can just throw it out there like that. And, you know, even if they're not people that want to work the business originally, I get a ton of people that sign up that way and then end up falling in love with the products and becoming coaches. So it's your, your biggest goal is to want to get to Emerald and then from there diamond. And you can't do that without inviting people. So if people are going to buy a challenge pack anyways, one of the best thing is just say, you know, use some of those scripts and, um, you know, just inviting them. So you can look at through these. There's a ton of, um, screenshots that I've posted just on like how I've invited people um, to coach and the same thing with the other one about like 21 day fix anytime I'm like ooh, that was good I'll take a picture and I'll post it in there so for your inviting I really want you guys to take a picture take a look at these um, you know so somebody was like you know for the most part I mean clean da, 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 da. Um, and then she said, tomorrow I'm going to sign up at Planet Fitness. And I was like, oh, no. And so I said, I don't know if you're interested or not, but you can actually save money by joining me in my perfectly imperfect boot camp. You do the 30-minute workouts from home. They seriously kick your butt. It comes with an easy-to-follow meal plan. You can still have chocolate and wine. Um, you know, I started to talk about that. So, and then I always say, check out my sister. And so you'd say, check out Melissa. She's lost 95 pounds. Doesn't she look awesome? And every single time I'm inviting, I send her picture. And people are like, Holy cow. Yes. Cause when you see that it works, people are like, okay, I'm listening. <laughs> so make it a point to always send Melissa's, um, picture. So, and if this was over, so if anybody asks you any questions, this was over two years time. She, um, you know, post post baby in the first one, um, drinking Shakeology and doing the 21 day fix meal plan and doing a mixture of beach body programs. So it wasn't 21 day fix the workout for the whole time, but she was following, um, the meal plan and drinking Shakeology throughout that. So yeah, when people see that, they're like, okay, how much did you say this was again? It's like, they are like, okay, now maybe I can make time for it. So definitely go through those. Um, and then, yeah, the shake pictures. And then there's before and afters in this album that you can use. So are you both in Coach Basics? Yes. yes. I've been in Coach Basics, but never completed Coach Basics. Okay. Have you started it since it's been um, revamped? No. Okay. So that was the old group. This is the new group. So... I'm going to add you to this. Let's see if you're in here. Allison, you are. Okay. So what you do is you go to files. I didn't realize that as you edit it, it changes it. So ignore the day eight is on top because you want to start here. <laughs> I have to go back and finish, but it's so confusing because you, I'd have to start with editing the last day and go up and edit all of them. That's a pain in the butt. So you start here. That basically just tells you what happens. Um, and then so day one, I'm going to click here. Um, check out this video and they're all like short. They're not super long. So you'll watch this video and then watch this one minute video on how to access training in your coach online office. And then you're going to comment with one flavor of Shakeology you're drinking, two workout of the day, three fun facts about 
uh, three fun facts about you. What excites you the most about being a coach? And then it's going to have a little tool for you to track who you're talking to. So then you write your answers and you tag Molly. You can also tag me um, so that she sees that and can give you feedback. And then you go to the next day. Yeah, that, that one probably would have only taken you like 15 minutes. So say you had like, you know, 30 minute break and you were going to sit down, then you could go to day two and rock that out as well. So homework, your 10 goals, your why. Um, time you're willing to put in to reach your goals. So, um, you know, feel free to go through and do this because this is what I, these are the things that I no longer get on the phone with my coaches because I can't get all of this information with everybody. So I put it all into video form and it's not just me. There's other coaches from our team that have made this video too. So you're not just um, staring at me the whole time. It's a collaborate effort with other people from our team. So there are 17 days and then 18 is just, um, you know, congratulations at the end, but there's some really, really good information. So I would make it your non-negotiable that you're going to finish coach basics. Um, because you'll, even if it's something seems, um, you know, personal development, you might think, Oh, I already know about personal development. Um, but I promise you, you will find some information that maybe just clicks with you. Um, I always use this analogy a lot. Like Molly you, is your coach. So sometimes you kind of almost think of her as like, you know, your mom is like, you got to clean your room. You got to do this. You got to do this. And then somebody else says something like the same way. Um, and they say the same thing, but maybe a different way. And you're like, Oh my gosh, that's such a great idea. <laughs> and so that's why I always tell other coaches, like get on Kelly's call, like get on other people, because sometimes you just need to hear that same thing in a different way. And it clicks. Um, so definitely just commit to coach basics. Um, and start doing that because that's going to really help. So another thing that you can do is when you go to your friends for finding people, um, I have this thing off. Um, I have this Facebook Purity, which takes away your news feed, so it doesn't have this. But when I don't have that on, I, ha I see um, people you may know. And if they have seven mutual friends or more, I add them. And then when they accept, I mean, if they don't want me to be friends, they're not going to accept it. So no big deal. So I add them. And if, when they accept it, I shoot them a message and I'm just like, Hey, you know, thanks so much for accepting Facebook suggested us to be friends. And, um, I just, I saw that we had a couple friends, so I just figured I'd, I'd, I'd add you. And, um, you know, I actually have a free exercise group that's going on right now. And the cool thing about it is we're doing a random act of kindness every day. So my goal is to pay it forward to as many people as I can to get, you know, more random acts of kindness. So I don't know if that's something you're interested in or not, but it's, you know, just a general accountability group. We're doing, we're working on our planks this month and I'd love to have you if you're interested. So they have two options. They will either ignore you or they will say, yeah, that sounds great. So you don't have to worry about being like, oh my gosh, I sound like a freak. I just added this person. I just messaged them they're either going to be like, no, thank you, ignore you or say, yeah, that sounds awesome. Thanks so much. So that's kind of a, an awesome way of just finding new people. Cause you really want to focus on finding three to five new people every day so that you're, you're constantly finding new people to talk to. Um, and those people that you don't really know very well are often the people that are the easiest to talk to. Cause you're like, you know, I have a best friend that would be amazing at coaching. I've talked to you guys about her before and it's so hard to talk to her because she just, she's made fun of me for coaching in the past. She's made fun of me for some of my posts and things like that. She just thinks I'm like, you know, I'm a crazy person that posts selfies of myself all day. So she, it's really hard for me to talk to her about coaching. Um, but I can talk to anybody from Instagram. So I would just focus on doing the five, three, one method. You know, maybe you can do it 10 minutes in the morning and you can do it 10 minutes at night, but shoot to try to get like 10 people. So if you're, you're doing that last message to 10 people and being like, Oh my gosh, I just stopped the crap out of you. I love your post. Are you on Facebook? You're going to get probably at least one or two people to add you on Facebook. And then you message them, you form them, you talk to them, you get them into your free group and then you follow up with a few days and you invite them to 21 day fix. It's, it's really that easy. It's just about getting in front of more people and not being afraid of what people might say to you. Cause if they really don't want to be a part of it, they're just going to ignore your message and just get ready for that. You will have tons of people ignore you, but they're never going to be like, no, you stupid freak, leave me alone. So you don't have to worry about, you know, rejection like that. They're just going to ignore you. And I don't write them off. You know, I, I continue to, you know, follow up with people. I've had somebody that literally ignored the last probably three months of messages. And so I kind of let off. I was like, Oh, I'll check up with her in a couple months. Um, and she reached out to me this week and was like, Hey, can I have that link again? And I was like, 
what link? She's like, the link to sign up to be a coach. And I was like, what? Like what clicked with you? Like what made you just decide out of the blue to sign up? And she's like, well, I'm having a baby in March and I really just don't want to go back to my job. I hate it. So I just really, I've been seeing your posts and I just want to, you know, see if I can make some other some money while I'm helping myself. And I, you know, and she also said, I really don't want to look like I've had a baby even nine months after I've had my baby, you know, things like that. So just being consistent will bring more people to you. You know, in the beginning, it's so much about consistency and always not really just the beginning, but the beginning you, you know, I had people come to me because of my posts and I wasn't doing as much reaching out. And then after like two or three months, I was like, where did they all go? And so for me, that was like an eye opener. I can't just rely on people to come to me. I have to go out and find them. Um, so yeah, so um, what else do you guys think that I could help you with while I have you on the phone? Or what was your, tell me what your biggest takeaway from that is. Like, what do you plan on starting to do tomorrow? I just need to be more consistent. Like, I just... I was all about it when I started in July and then I just kind of just fizzled off mm -hmm. and I feel like I haven't really, I've just been a discount coach mm -hmm. and I'm not even really being a discount coach because I signed up my fiance underneath me mm -hmm. and I'm just spending as much money, if not more than I would be right. for both of us. And he's not getting Shakeology. I've, you know, I ordered, I, you know, pushed my Shakeology one month cause I had two bags and, I bought active or that. So I just, I'm like, if I'm going to do this, I'm going to do it. And yep. that's for me. I just need to commit. And, and, um, what is your, why, what's your big why of why you want to be a coach? Um, I think, I think that's what probably why I struggle too. Cause I don't really think I have my why yet. Do you know what I mean? Like I, you know, I've said before, like we're getting married next year. I would love to make some extra money to help pay for my wedding. But like, I think that's my problem is I feel like I don't have a story. And that's why I feel like oh, I have a hard have time. A story? You have a story. Everybody I know, but, has a story. I know, but I feel like I don't have, I guess, as great of a story or I don't, you know what I mean? Like, I feel like I don't have anything to talk about. And that's where I really struggle with posting and stuff Have like you ever that. finished a full round of 21 Day Fix? No. Okay. I mean, I, I have, but I have, but not like I've skipped days. Do you know what I mean? Like okay. I've skipped it up. So I can, I guess I can say I've done like a full three weeks of like following the meal plan yeah. and doing workouts, but I've missed days in, in between. Okay. Well, that's okay. Yeah. Well, and then when you were, were you really good about like following it and like, did you see any big difference in your 21 days? I lost, so I lost, when I, since June, I lost like 18 pounds. Okay. That's so. a story. How is that not a story? That's amazing. So, um, <laughs> take a before and after of when you first started and like current of that 18 pounds and be like, you know, I was just sitting here thinking like, I don't really have, you know, some awesome story where sometimes I see other coaches progress and I think, wow, they look so awesome. And then I took a look back at these two photos and I thought, Heck yeah, I do. I look awesome. You know, something like that. And you can just right. be real with what you just told me. Like sometimes I'm so hard on myself and I think maybe I would be a better coach if I had a better story. And then I started looking back and I saw, holy cow, look how awesome I am. I mean, that's like a freaking two-year-old. So, well, no, my sister's two-year-old is just really small. That's like a one and a half. <laughs> freaking Elsie is like 19 pounds and she's over two. She looks like a little like her, her legs are literally like this big, I think. It's she's so tiny. Like a green bean. <laughs> yeah, she's so teeny tiny. But um, yeah, so I would definitely take a pic before and after and make that and just say, you know, I haven't even really been super consistent all the time. I have days where I mess up and da da da. But I'm seriously so proud of my progress and I, I'm so thankful that I have something that works and I don't feel deprived. And even though I haven't been 100% strict, I'm still feeling awesome. Um, and so our next challenge group starts such and such stage day. And I don't know about you, but if you're, if you're look, like wanting something to change, it's not going to change unless you make a change happen. So why don't you, right. you know, message me and see if it's for you or not. So take your before and after, um, and make that into a post. And Samantha says, I'm going to really start budgeting my time to make sure that I'm getting my stuff done. My why is because I want to be able to give back to my mom. She has done so much to help me in the past and now I want to be able to help her. That's awesome. Um, 
And so like, you know, you just kind of, and something, pick something in particular that you want to do for your mom. Like for my parents, my goal next year is to pay for a cruise for them. So pick something specific and put it on like a post it or something or, you know, where you're going to see it every day. Um, because the more that you can see that and that visualization is so important. So like my, um, my, the background of my computer right now is I'm the leader of a 2015 elite team. And I'm not joking. When you see that every single day, you're not going to be like, I don't feel like sending a message today. You're going to be like, I don't care. Go freaking do it anyways. So, um, you know, think some of your goals and Allison, even if you don't have a big why, I want you to write out your why list. So for me, it was at first it was, I want to quit my job. I want to pay for my wedding in cash. I want to um, pay off debt. I want to be credit card free. I want to, you know, retire my husband. I want to be able to buy a house. So write down everything. And even if it's not one individual why, I want you to write down your why list. So at least 10 things that you want to be able to do, whether it's financially, physically, um, you know, emotionally, whatever. Um, because another thing that I really wanted to work on was, you know, um, emotionally, because there would be times where I would be fine. There'd be other times where I would just be so comparing myself to other people, like really bad. So I made that a goal as well. And so don't think that it all needs to be financial. If there's so much other stuff, you know, that really could be happening. So another really cool thing is canva.com is an awesome, that's how I made this background. So, um, let me show you. Do we have any um, webinars or coach calls that we've done that are saved that like on how to use Canva? Yes, like I created one um, on my YouTube. I'll show you in a second. What was I doing? What was I do? Oh, I wanted to show you. Um, see if it's no. Dang it! What did I put this in? Webinar. Now I can't tell you where this is. Um, oh, vision board. That's what I'll search. I have no idea where it is. But I made a vision board using Canva. And so um, I just kind of had like, I want to, I want to, on our third year anniversary, I want to go to Europe, like had all this stuff. And I put out like specific dates, like December 16th, 2015. I want this to happen. Um, so make a vision board because, and then like make it the background of your computer. I wish I could know where mine is, but um, I know it's in that one of the Girl Boss Academy things I made. So th that's super simple. And I've seen Molly's. Molly, Molly, I know, yes. shared hers on our page and stuff. Okay, cool. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I just, I mean, as, as corny as it sound, I used to kind of like turn my nose up. I'm like, okay, yeah, you crazy people with your visualization. Um, but it really does, 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 does make a difference. Okay, so, so you would go to April McDonald. And then once you find me, um, you can kind of just like, wait, why can't I find me? Mm -hmm. Okay, so by April McDonald was something that you would find on and then you would just click me. Okay, so right. you would click um, subscribe so you can easily find me. And then you're going to go to playlist. I have everything organized by playlist. So this is a really awesome playlist, coach training videos, quick tips. So I have in here how to set your preferred placement. And this is really important. So like, so, and you could just send somebody this mess, this video is three minutes and 23 seconds. Um, because, you know, say you had a new coach ready to sign on their second coach. You want to make sure that they do it right. Um, how to understand your paycheck cycling bonus and matching bonus. Um, how to understand your sponsorship drill down. Where do I place my coaches to maximize my cycle bonus, AKA make more money. That's something that you might even still, you know, want to check out because there is a strategy of where to put your coaches to make your cycle bonus, um, the, grow the fastest. I sold something. Now what? This teaches them how to go into their, um, you know, previous office view and, check. um, check to see that an order is. Cause I just got a ton of people asking this question all the time. And I was like, okay, I'm going to make a video so I can just send them a link. And then here is the canva.com tutorial I made. So, it's like five so, minutes. The cool thing about Canva is it's saved. Awesome. So I'll send you that. And then um, 
follow successful coaches and create interest lists. This is also a good one. Um, it teaches you how to follow those coaches and um, also, sh sh I can't talk, set it up so you see um, their posts first. So that's kind of cool because I'm going to see Melanie Mitchell. I'm going to see all these top coaches and I'm going to see them first. Um, there is the link to the Canva. I just sent it in the chat so you can copy and paste it or click on it to open it. Um, but yeah, so just kind of go through my YouTube. There's all of my team calls are there. There's so much information. Um, Kelly Hanner's YouTube is great. Um, top coaches like Katie Hefner, Lindsay Matway, Brittany Leggett. I just, Anita Myron, I just go to their, I just stock their YouTube all the time because they are putting out training that they give to their coaches and I'm like, like, why not? It's free. Go, go learn from them. Um, so anytime you're in the car, be doing personal development. You can also get the, do you guys have the Beachbody podcast for the national wake up calls? Okay. So do you have an iPhone or a Samsung? Uh, Android. Okay. Andrew, Android, Samantha. Okay. All right. Me too. So what you're going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to write it in the, the chat podcast addict is the app you're going to download. Okay. So that is basically you getting access to podcasts because you don't have an iPhone and then you download, um, from pod, podcast addict team beach body coach, the Shalene show. And I think it's build your tribe. Grow your tribe, build your tribe, I think. But, and that's, those are two, the last two are Shalene Johnson, but I love her. They're, they're really awesome. So the Team Beachbody Coach app um, podcast gives you all of the national wake up calls. And the cool thing about this is, is you can download them when you have Wi-Fi and listen to them while you're driving and not use data. So there is no excuse not for you to do that. And you can fast forward through the beginning part where they're doing like announcements and things too. And so it's only a 30 minute call. Um, and you can literally go back to like 2013 or 2012. And so, you know, they're awesome, awesome personal development that you can do. Don't have to use your data. Um, and they're people making six and seven figures in the business. So it's kind of like, okay, if you're going to talk, I'm going to listen. <laughs> so, okay. So what are your three action plans? Um, from this call that you want to start doing action items um, posting schedule okay uh, my why list okay and I, I need to start I'm I'm not only bad at inviting them bad at personal development and I just need to start like I have audible and I just need to start listening to it in the car when I'm driving to work and stuff. How long's your commute? So, uh, 20 minutes. So it's not very long. That's yeah. That's, that's yeah. Okay. do it there and on the way back. And that's 40 minutes a day. And that's awesome. You know, even if you don't start yeah. right away, at least 30 minutes a day and you're done. Yeah. So, okay. okay cool. All right. And Samantha. But yeah, the podcasts have helped so much. Um, remember to be proof of the product, make a good posting schedule, read my PD before I go to bed every night. Okay, and what are you reading, Samantha? The Champagne Diet. I haven't heard of that. Um, is it good? Okay, cool. All right, so um, yeah, make that non-negotiable. I also want you to send Molly a message with the three things you just told me. And so she can also keep you accountable because it's so hard, it's so easy to be like, I'm gonna do this and then be like, twirl and forget. So Molly will stay on top of you and make sure <laughs> you make it happen. Um, me. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so um, I hope this helped. Is there anything else that, um, you want to ask before we get going or anything else or that you're struggling with or anything? Um, no, I just need to, I just need to do it. You just need to do it. And that's so true. And I love this thing. Um, live now how others want so you can live later how others can't. And that's so true. I mean, imagine being able to pay off your student loans now and not having debt when you're, 30, 40, you know, like everybody else. Um, and imagine being able to pay for your family's like big, you know, vacation or something down the road and other people are never going to be able to do that. So 
it's so easy to literally double your income. Every year since I've been a coach, I have doubled my income. Can you imagine going to your boss and being like, I'd like to double my salary next year. Can we talk about that? They'd be like, no. So I want you to know that it does not come with not recruiting coaches either. The magic is in recruiting coaches because that team cycle bonus is what you get paid on what your coaches and your coaches coaches are doing. My team cycle bonus is almost double what my entire paycheck. No, is over double what my entire paycheck was this time last year. That's what I'm getting paid for what my team is doing because I've added coaches and they've added coaches and they've added coaches. Um, but yeah, just to, I don't really like talking about money, but just to give you an idea, when I quit, I remember when I quit my job, I had a paycheck that was a lot lower than normal, I freaked out. And it was, it was like $450 or something. And for me, that was not enough money to quit my job. So I was like, oh my gosh. And it, it had been higher than that in the past. So that was January of 2015. That was this year. I had a paycheck on the week I quit that was $450. And right now my cycle bonus alone is anywhere from a thousand to $1,500 a week. And so that is why I was able to have my husband quit his job. I never would have been able to do that otherwise. I'm not sitting here rolling in the money because now that's split between two people. <laughs> but okay. that is all from me adding coaches and my coaches coaches. So that is why you do not wait to build your team. You ask everybody because for me to think about me being able to, and that's, so that's not covering the bonuses I get for signing coaches, the bonus, the commission I make from people on Shakeology. So that's just the cycle bonus alone. So that's when you need to think about it. Okay. If I really want to make this something that I can make, make something out of it, I need to ask people, invite people, and they are going to tell you no, and they're going to ignore you, but that's okay. They're going to come back. And the more people you can put the business opportunity in front of, the better. Reach out to Molly and say, hey, if you've got a pro prospect, hey, do you mind if I start a three-way chat with you and um, so-and-so, she's kind of interested in coaching. She will 100% be there to be like, yeah, sure, I'd love to. She can even help you through that so that you know you have a better idea of how to make it happen. And if she's not, not available, I know she's kind of working crazy hours right now, and she, you don't hear back from her, reach out to me, and I will do that because I am not successful until my coaches are successful. So don't be afraid to ask for help. Um, you know, always post in the team group first. Um, but, you know, if you are you have somebody that's somewhat interested in coaching and you're worried you're going to screw it up and you don't know what to do, reach out to Molly or reach out to me and do, like, three-way chats. You know, she's here to do three-way Zooms. Um, I do that for all of my coaches, though. So um, just don't be afraid to talk to people and don't be afraid that you're going to say something stupid because you can't learn until you do. And I got on the phone with this one girl for literally like an hour one time, like when I first started and I just da, 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 da. and she ended up signing up later. I mean, it wasn't right away, but I totally like blew it. Like I beach body vomited all over her and she still ended up coming back later. So you cannot screw something up so bad that <laughs> they won't at least come back later. Um, so I hope this helps you guys. I'm, I'm going to share this with the team. I hope that's okay too. Um, but I want you to just think about it. And like, if you have to just put something that says like, just freaking do it, like do it, do it when you don't feel like it. And that is what's going to be the difference in being a discount coach and a successful coach. Okay. Thank you, April. Well, you're welcome. It was so good to talk to you. I'm Samantha. I'm sorry. I didn't get to hear your voice. <laughs> um, I would definitely Google what's going on with your, your zoom so you could fix that for the future. So our team call is normally Thursday. I am going to, um, move it to Wednesday um, this week. And I understand if anybody can't, but those are always recorded and posted into my YouTube channel. So feel free to um, um, peruse there for personal development as well. Okay. Awesome. Thanks. All right. No problem. Have a good night. Oh, it starts at seven <laughs> at Eastern time. Bye girls. Okay.